So first we want to solve a linear equation. We need to know what a linear equation is and how we recognize it. Linear refers to the power of the letter, also called variable. It's linear if that power is 1. And equation has to have an equal sign. So if we look at the first example I have, 3x minus 2 equals 14. Here's my only letter. It's raised to the first power, so I have linear. I have an equal sign. That means I have an equation. Excellent, because whenever you have an equation, your tool bag gets much larger than if you just have an expression. Because equations, you're allowed to do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides. So when I look at this first equation, I want to start by isolating the x term on one side. So here's my term with the x's in it. Currently on that side of the equal sign, it has a minus 2. I need that minus 2 to move. So the way I do it is I'm going to add the opposite. So the opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. But whatever I do to the left side of the equation, I have to do the exact same thing to the right side. What happens on the left then is the minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0. And that gets me the 3x all by itself. On the right, I have 14 plus 2, 16. So now 3x equals 16, which would be fabulous if I wanted 3x's, but usually you only want 1. So now to get rid of the 3, I need to do the opposite operation. The 3 and the x are attached with multiplication, so the operation that undoes multiplying is dividing. So if I divide the left side by 3, 3 over 3 is 1. That's going to get me that x that I want. But I can't just go dividing the left side. I have to do the exact same thing to both sides. So I will divide the right side by 3 as well. Gives me a final answer of 16 thirds. Remember, improper fractions are the preferred form now. Um, and that one doesn't reduce. No common factors between 16 and 3. Now let's take a look at that next example that looks a little bit more difficult, but isn't that bad. So to start with, we are going to clear parentheses by distributing. So the 2 is multiplying everybody inside that first set of parentheses. So I'm going to get 10x minus 2 plus 7 equals 8x. The 8x and the minus 9 can't combine for a number of reasons. One is the 9 doesn't have an x. And more importantly, the 9 is attached with multiplication to that second set of parentheses. And so I have to do that first. So I'll go ahead and distribute that minus 9. 9 times x, so I'm going to get a minus 9x. And then minus 9 times minus 1, make that a plus 9. So now, there are a couple ways you can go about it, but I'm going to do the same way every time so that we can stay focused. I'm going to tidy up each side by combining like terms. So I'm going to look at the left side of that equation, and I'm just going to tidy. So now I'm treating that left side as an expression. So 10x minus 2 plus 7. The two constant terms, the ones without the letters, I can combine those. So I have minus 2 plus 7. That's going to be a plus 5. So 10x plus 5 equals. Now let's do the same thing over here. 8x, I have another x term I can combine with that. Minus 9x leaves me a negative 1x. I didn't write the 1. You're more than welcome to. So now I just have 1x and 1 constant, 1x term, 1 constant term on the other side. Next, let's get all my x terms together on one side. Doesn't matter which side, I will tend to move mine so that my x coefficient stays positive. Remember, coefficient's the one multiplying in front. So I have this minus x over here on the right. If I want that to come over to the other side, I'm going to do the opposite, add the opposite to move terms. So we add and subtract when we're moving terms. We multiply or divide when we're moving coefficients. So this is a term. I'm going to add because it's a negative, and I'm going to add to the other side so it's exactly the same. So 10x plus x, that's 11x plus 5 equals. The x's are now gone on the right. I had a minus x plus x, that's 0. So 11x plus 5 equals 9. So now the plus 5 has to move. Again, I'm moving the entire term. So I do the opposite. I do that with adding and subtracting. So 11x on the left, the minus 5 and the plus 5 are gone. 
but I have a nice four over there. And then we finish by dividing. So this time I have 11x, but I want to get the x. I'm just moving the coefficient. I do that with division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 11. The 11s cancel on the left, and the right now has my answer.